get a ball in from this area. Comes back outside to Kean Levy. Has the time to put it in too. This one might just work out. Onto the edge of the area. That's a brilliant save from Talbot. Still there for Pats. Here's the chance again. Took a deflection on the way through and out for a corner kick. But what about that for a save from James Talbot? Oh, best piece of play we've seen. This is meant for me. The ball in the Concarty's feet from Keane Levy outside the box. Then it's a little one touch combination play. Forrester involved, heavily involved. McClellan desperate to just get onto that left foot. At one. That wind is still blowing pretty strongly into their faces in this first half. That one's been flicked on towards a pass player down the line on the far side. Connor Carty. Here he goes again in chase. He's been supported this time. And now this might just work out. Well, indecisive defending from Bohemians, almost allowing Pats open the scoring. Simple ball in over the top, but Bowes almost paid the price. Yeah, big, big mistake. Radkowski here, the Bowes tend to have very difficult to head that ball back to the goalkeeper. It's a difficult position to be in. Don't know whether to head it back, head it away from goal. There's no pace on the ball, but he got it wrong, and it was a great opportunity. Carthy, look, sensing an opportunity. Paddy Kay's coming on the inside, narrowing up, making it as hard as possible. That's still a great chance. Radkowski, McDonald back to... Rakowski again, who looks okay after taking that knock earlier on in this first half. Kirk, nice ball through to Grant again. Grant might take on the shot this time. Danny Grant! That wasn't a million miles away. He was whipping that in with the right boot, just didn't get enough curl on it, but it wasn't far away. Certainly a great combination play between him and Paddy Cork down the left hand side. It's a cute little ball from Paddy Cork through the legs of the Pats player. He knows exactly what he wants to do here. Danny Grant just shifted onto that right foot. It's good contact. Clark. Weaves his way inside two challenges. Brilliant from James Clark. Can he finish it off here? Goes to the pass to Afalabi instead. Afalabi can't find a way past Redmond and then McDonald with the follow up. Here's Paddy Kirk on that right boot. Forrester this time with the block. Now Flores. Space to swing the left boot out of Flores. It's a good save. Vaness does well. Buckley. Clark. Back to Flores again, who's becoming a little bit more influential now. Clark. Up towards the area still. James Clark. Oh, and he managed to get a shot through as well. It took a little bit of a flick on the way. It's gone out for a corner kick. Yeah, you mentioned Flores, but this man, James Clark, for me, has grabbed this game by the scruff in the last five, ten minutes. He's getting on the ball, he's dictating things, picking passes, driving forward. This is a brilliant play, great dribbling ability. Slight touch, isn't it? Off McGrath takes a wide. They're looking to make an incision at the other end. Carty was looking for a free kick, he's not going to get it. And now Bulls spin away. It's James Clark driving at the Pats defence. It's still James Clark here. James Clark! Almost finding it inside the right hand upright. What a run again. Straight through the heart of that same Pats defence. And that shot almost found the back of the net. Oh, it's brilliant play again from Bohemians number 10. Spoke about it already. How prominent he's been in this kind of second half. Great dribbling ability. You look at him, his physical attributes, not maybe a natural number 10. He's a big lad, six foot, big shoulders, but lovely feet, great technique. Has wrestling on the outside. Good ball through. Possibilities here. It's inside for Pats. Goalkeeper slides in off the upright. It's still there for Pats. Off the upright again. Extraordinary. And it's cleared away by Bowes. Well, Pats going close to breaking the deadlock. Oh, it's lovely link up play. Bowes is six to seven's ball hitting the crossbar, bouncing all over the place. The way through. Here's Bit Clark again. Looking for Akin Tunde. Buckley intervenes with a strong right foot on possession and he gets it again for Bohemians. The experienced campaigner out to Noak here. Chance for Bowles here. All the way through! And off the crossbar. Huge opportunity. There were two players free on the far side. Akin Tunde was one of them. And he's wondering how he hasn't scored. I think you're right, Carl. 
has to score here. At least he has to keep it underneath the crossbar. It's a brilliant cross into the box from Nowak on the right hand side. Type of cross you dream as you dream of as a centre forward or left winger in this case attacking that back post. Just has to keep it down, punch it underneath the crossbar, and I think he scores goal. It's a massive let off for St. Pat's. It really is, and they know it too. Are we in for some late drama at Richmond Park? Joe Redmond is forward. He had a really good chance from a corner earlier in this second half. Couldn't direct his header on target. Here comes the corner kick now. Can't get it past the first man. St. Pat's will be able to get a second chance here, however. Here comes another delivery. Low one this time. Forrester is there. Gets it back outside to Nolan. Buckley is there, blocks it away, and there is the full-time whistle. Well, it's been tight and tense all the way through, and in the end, nothing to separate these two Dublin rivals. Chances for both sides, either side of half-time, but in the end, it ends honours even. A point apiece between St. Pat's and Bohemians after this Dublin derby in front of a sellout crowd at Richmond Park.